why don't we move into this world of nootropics and supplementation? Because I think that that's where most people think, you know, what I'm seeing online is like, how can I take this supplement to make me think better, make me more sharper? There's a, um, what's the limitless you know there's a limitless drug there's a movie about it and we all think as a society if I just take this supplement maybe it's uh, choline acetylcholine if I just take this uh, it'll make me think faster so when people spend $500 a month on supplements and eutrophics for their brain you're saying they're literally flushing their money down the water is that correct <laughs> <laughs> I would say that the vast majority are not necessary Many of the supplements that might work tend to be core basic nutrients that the brain needs that you might not be getting enough of from the diet. Um, things like B vitamins, vitamin D, omega-3s. Um, if you're not consistently getting them from the diet or you do a blood test and you see that uh, your, le your, your levels are maybe not where you would want them to be and we know sort of cutoffs as they relate to risk of cognitive decline and, and dementia, then I think supplementing with those can make a lot of sense. But everything else, um, the, the majority of supplements don't have a huge amount of evidence behind them.